Hey, welcome back to another Minnesota Chomp. So today is March 23rd, I believe it's March 23rd, 2019. Today we had a high of like 53 degrees, which has been really nice. Uh, about a month ago or so, we received some pretty brutal weather which really put a, a hindrance on any sort of ice fishing that could take place. We got pounded with a bunch of snow and high winds, created a lot of drifts. This, uh, the huge snow accumulation caused a slushy nightmare of a mess out on just about every lake up here around Bemidji. And so fishing kind of, ice fishing kind of came to a, to a halt. And um, so I did a couple of videos, you've probably seen them. Uh, if not, definitely check them out where I've been doing some stuff here from my little my little corner, my little channel corner as I'm going to call it. Just because I haven't been able to get out. I don't have a snowmobile or, or anything like that. So I rely on my, my vehicle, my Jeep, to drive out on the lakes and that just hasn't been possible. Um, and as far as walking goes, it's, it was even just as miserable trying to walk, especially with a bum knee. I've had a lot of time to reflect on, on the ice season and... There is a couple of products that really I didn't have a whole lot of faith in. Um, I was really, really skeptical. And once I got these products in my hand and was able to put them to use, completely changed my mind. Okay. Uh, so in this video here, we're going to talk about just one of the products. The other product I'll do a video on here in about a week or so. But uh, this one here is one that I've been very vocal about from the beginning of this trend. And I was very skeptical. I was putting it down without even, without even trying it. And uh, what I'm talking about are these auger bit attachments for drills. Um, I, I, I kind of started calling them droggers, which is a combination of drill and auger put together. I'm that clever. <laughs> so yeah, these droggers or drill augers, hand drill augers, um, I just, it just didn't excite me. I, I didn't see the reason. I think the biggest reason that I was putting them down so much was the fact of having to buy a $300 drill when you can get a, an awesome running gas or propane auger, which has been around forever. It's a proven technology um, for that much. Or maybe like a hundred bucks more but anyway I was uh, fortunate enough to try one of these on a filming episode with fish addictions TV I, it took one hole and I was completely convinced that this is something that I need to get you know I am Eskimo is not sponsoring this video but I am a part of Eskimo's pro staff and so I reached out to Eskimo saying hey um, I think I made a mistake this year and I'd like to get my hands on one of these uh, pistol bits. So within a short period of time, I received a pistol bit. And at the same time that I sent that email out, I walked over to my boss's office there where I work. And uh, I had him order me a drill. I never thought the day would come that I would own a $300 contractor grade half inch hammer drill. But I do. And uh, I went with uh, DeWalt. 969 for this operation um why dewalt the engineers at eskimo had the best results with the dewalt the milwaukee also ran really really good um so i just went with the dewalt uh that and it's really cool black and yellow i don't know i'll never use this drill for anything but drilling ice so enough about the drill uh, this thing's got monster torque, five amp hour batteries. I got like three batteries and uh, I'm going to stick with the five amp batteries. Uh, I know you can get bigger ones and stuff like that, but one, they add more weight and two, they're just bigger and bulkier. And the trick to this whole thing, this whole system is to keep these batteries warm, warm. Like I put them down in my pocket, in my hoodie. I put them, you know, under my bibs and my ice fishing bibs. Just using my body heat to keep them warm. Uh, warm batteries will last longer. So these five amp hour batteries, they're really pretty thin. And so you can put a couple of them in your in your pockets and they'll stay nice and warm. Oh, hell. 
Uh, let's grab a little beverage. <laughs> it's water, kids. As I was saying. So that, that's the hand drill I got. And then right here is the pistol bit. Um, I got an 8-inch pistol bit. And this sucker weighs under... Oh, just under four pounds or right at four pounds. I mean, it is ridiculously light with the drill on it. It comes in at around seven pounds. I mean, just unbelievable. I've already have an uh, extension on here. I, uh, I'll put a link to that video, but I, I put a, an extension on here just because um, we had a lot of snow and there's still a little bit out there, but we got this stuff called what I call cake ice, which is the frozen slush and and compact snow that's hard enough that you guys can walk on but then there's like a cavity between that and the actual ice there so i put an extension on there just to just to make sure but what i'm going to do with this video and what i'd like to do is i'm going to just go through this thing and take stuff apart and show you all about it so let's get going so the first thing we're going to do here is uh what i'd like to talk about i guess what makes this different from everything else i'm going to try to spin this around without breaking anything is the pistol bit a nice little cover there the pistol bit uses shaver blades instead of trip chip uh, instead of chipper blades and shaver blades going to create less torque on your drill and it's just going to be a little bit more proficient and now this is a, a composite ring blades are the standard issue hand auger blades so they're readily available um, you can resharpen them but i always leave my when i'm not using this i always leave my protective cover on and over the years of running lots of augers i've never had to sharpen or replace blades um, just because i, I kind of baby them but uh, it does have a composite composite ring which makes it light it's still very very strong and then if we go into the flights here the flights are, are, a, are a, um, a polymer they are flexible we haven't broke one anyway uh, and these flights are removable and I'm going to show you how to do that here in a second in case you do break one you can take a chunk of your flights out and get a new one from customer service and then we'll get down to the business the other business end here and then you got this desk on here this disc is for in case your drill comes or the the bit comes unchucked from the drill which it can happen especially if when you put this thing in reverse to slush out your hole which really works awesome um it can't come unchucked and this is bigger than eight inches it's like i think it's like nine inches or so and if it does you won't lose your bit it'll just this will keep it at the on the top of the hole so what we're gonna do is we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to take this sucker apart yeah we're gonna start right up here at the top and right here we have a little machine screw and you're gonna start want to start right there I think it's right there if I can reach it right there and that is a 3 16 Allen wrench and we're just gonna unscrew this we're going to take off this disc and the part that chucks in. So we're going to take this off and that just pops right off to it. Here's the part that you're going to chuck. You can see where I've had it chucked into the drill. We're going to set that off to the side and we're going to set ye old disc off to the side. I'm going to go ahead and take this extension off since we're here same it's going to be the same three or uh, three sixteenths bit allen wrench i'll show you how easy this is that just comes out like so it's an eight inch eight inch extension you can stack these i mean if you're if you're on some mondo seriously crazy thick ice you can stack more of them on the end so we'll set that dude off i'm gonna lay him down because he will fall all right next we're gonna get into taking a piece of this flute off. So you can see right here, we have a Phillips head screw, okay? So what we're gonna do, grab ye old screwdriver, 
unscrew this. Now I haven't done this before, so we're learning together. So we're gonna just take this out. Here, it looks like we can take and just slide and wiggle this off. Now there is a sticker on here, which looks like it's gonna have to peel back a little bit. Yep, we're gonna have to take this decal off here. Which is kind of a bummer, because it looks pretty cool. You can see it. This whole thing is starting to slide. I'm gonna get this sticker off. I got the sticker off, most of it. I'll clean that up later with a little bit of goo gone, get all the sticky residue stuff off. Ah, super sticky. So, yeah, here we go. We're just, you're just gonna take and slide that little collar off. And then these just come apart. Kind of keep track of each order. So there's the first one. They're all kind of the same. There you go. And that's how you do that. And then, like I said, if you break one of these chunks, you will uh, you can get a new one from customer service um, or one of these sections of flighting. Like I said, we haven't broke one yet, and just about everybody on the fish addiction staff has one of these, and uh, we are hard on equipment it's part of our our job but yeah you just slide that off nice and easy like so so then we're going to put this stuff back on here you're going to want to make it look just want to put it together like so so that it makes sense so i think i might have put this one on wrong oh no no Yep, put it on wrong. See, there's gap here versus this gap here. So I gotta just spin this baby around. Try this again. There we go, got her. Back in bitness. And then we'll just slide this collar back on. There's, there's a little hole right there. You see that? That's what we got to line that up with. So, being that it's a hexagon shaped shaft, it should be pretty easy to do. I'm just going to slide all this business down here. And then we're going to put that screw right back in there. Screw that baby back down in there. Unreal. There we go. Things nice and tight. And uh, we're going to put my extension back on. Gonna line up our. Got a, got a hole through there, and it's got to line up with that hole there. And put that screw back in there I'm gonna put a little little torque on there Finlander torque because we don't want that sucker to come out got that on there we'll put our little hey man I'm not gonna fall off type disc on there we're gonna line up this hole with the hole on the top of the shaft there. And we're gonna put our last little screw in there. That is a little tricky part trying to do this by yourself, but just like that, going in the wrong way here. You gotta turn this around because there's a pocket. There's what we're looking for right there. Again, gonna apply some finished torque on here. 
And there we go. Boom. All done. Everything's back on. Everything's nice and tight and ready to go. I'm going to put the cover back on here because, believe it or not, auger blades are ridiculously sharp. And they will cut you. All right. That's back on there. have one more thing to show you. I grabbed something. So, um, this is already a pretty slick surface, but you can always get a little bit more slippery. And the reason I want to do this is to prevent any sort of ice buildup, which doesn't seem to be an issue, but it can happen. And it's not wrong with uh, doing a little homework. So what I got here is I just had, I got some, some wax, turtle wax, super hard shell. But what we're going to do is I'm going to take with the sponge that's given to me. I'm going to get a little bit on here. And I'm going to try not to knock anything over or get a bunch of it anywhere or all over the place. I'm going to wax this flight in the shaft. And I might do a little bit of work down here. And uh, what this is going to do is it's going to, it's going to protect it some more. And it, it should have the help the water bead right off it. When you get water that stays on an auger like that, it's gonna ice up for you and it's not gonna perform as it should. So we're just gonna take and start applying a little bit of this wax on here in small circles. I'm just gonna do a small chunk right now. And uh, I'm gonna follow their recommended uh, instructions. All right, smells pretty good. Just gotta let it sit for a little bit here. And then I got some uh, some polishing cloths here. I got all this stuff at auto parts store. I mean, I think that wax was like $7 and these towels were just like three bucks. So 10 bucks, I mean, this, this wax should last me the rest of my natural born life. But uh, yeah, so now I think we're gonna go and uh, we're going to remove some of this stuff off here. And tomorrow I'm gonna test out my waxing theory here. Huh, it does feel a little bit more, more slippery. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but you know, I did this section right here, and I did not do that section. None, and then this part was. I'm gonna take a look for myself. Yeah, it kinda looks the same, but it definitely added some slickery to it. How about that? So I'm gonna spend the next few hours polishing this baby up so that I can take it out on the ice tomorrow. And I will take you guys along with me. So, um, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Uh, thank you for subscribing. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Turn on the notifications bell as well. That's a cool feature. I like that. Every uh, channel that I've subscribed to, which is quite a few, it's pretty handy, man. You get a little, little notification on your phone. So-and-so just uploaded a new video. So um you know it's it's kind of a cool thing that way you know you got some new some new content to watch and and then subscribing too i recently started doing that just the last couple of years and i'll tell you what it's really nice you don't have to type anything into the search bar anymore that's key it just saves time it's really come in handy it is drier than hell in here hold on Ugh. so yeah what was i talking about uh yeah subscribing it doesn't cost anything to subscribe and uh it's just really handy so you like you build your subscription list and it's almost like your own custom channels to entertainment and knowledge and or whatever um i have subscribed to all kinds of stuff not all not all of it's fishing there's a lot of other stuff that i like to watch too so um thanks so thanks for watching and uh i'll see you guys out on the ice
be kind to each other, and fish hard. Later. Still waxing. It's a lengthy process. It should be worth it. I'm just doing the top side of the Saturday night and I'm playing with the flutes.